Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video where today we return with yet another of our F123 last a question mark challenges. Of course this weekend we are here in Las Vegas and I decided to drive as Carlos Sainz. Now I recorded this way before the incident happened in FP1 but yeah clearly Sainz has been a bit of a talk of the town this weekend with all of the issues with the potholes of course. Recording this on a Friday fingers crossed everything is sorted for Saturday morning but yeah let's head down trackside then here for a cockpit cam last a question mark challenge here from the Vegas Grand Prix. Well here we are then trackside for the Las Vegas Grand Prix here very much looking forward to this one and of course racing as Carlos Sainz still in that big battle for P4 in the championship between us Lando Norris and our fellow Spaniard in Fernando Alonso here but starting on the medium tyres Gonna hopefully mean we can go a little bit longer early on. Five red lights. And it's gonna be lights out and away we go there. Trying to take it nice and easy off of the start. Of course, all the talk heading into the weekend is just gonna be about tyre temperature there. As so I'll have a look down the inside of a couple of cars at turn one. Um, but yeah, tyre temps, of course, the big rage this weekend. So it's gonna be very, very interesting to see how the drivers manage there. And of course, maybe starting on the harder compounded tyres isn't going to allow you to build up the heat you need early on. Whoa, we thought about a look down the inside of Nico Hulkenberg there, who's just going to slam the door on me at the end of the first complex of corners. Making our way, though, down through here. This is going to be very, very difficult to navigate as we wave hello to the sphere. I'm intrigued to see what they're going to be showcasing on that all weekend there. But Ocon and Sonoda side by side in front of me. It looks like the Red Bulls have got away to a nice clean start here and have opened up a bit of a lead over the Mercs. It's Mercedes as well I'm sure, you know, hoping to try and build up a little bit of an extra margin over Ferrari this weekend. But as we make our way then out onto the strip for the first time, look at all the lights, everything going on around you. You've got to give EA and Codemasters credit. They really have done a good job uh, with the environment around this venue. I know obviously they can't get a lot of the licenses, but it does really set the atmosphere still as we make our way into the braking zone there. Usually braking about 120 metres out. That one, of course, just being a little bit more cautious, make sure we don't run into the back of the car in front here. But saving battery as well today is going to be critical. Sergio Perez leading the way at the end of lap one. I'm sure he'd love... To try and win here as down the inside of Nico Hulkenberg. I wasn't intending on going for that move. But Hulk broke a little bit earlier than I was expecting down at one. He's still going to be trying to go down the inside at turn two there. We'll have to hook it up the long way around. It's Mark just telling me to get on the battery. But that was a little bit scary back down at the first couple of corners. But up a few spots then off the start of this race. Nice amounts of progress early on. I've always noticed as well, the AI seems to be a little bit slow through this section of corners there. Seem to get very, very early on the brakes, but yeah, as we get out onto the strip once again, are we going to be able to try and get a run on the second Haas car? Yeah, it looks like it's only Zhou Guan Yu and I that have opted to start this race on a set of the mediums, but yeah, trying to save as much battery as we can early on. We know this Ferrari at least in the game anyway, has pretty competitive top end speed. There's more cars going side by side just in front. There's a oh, lock on and stroll there, trying to battle. Magnussen, oh, pretty Magnussen-esque defense as we just nudge the wall at the final corner. Luckily, it was only tire face. So Verstappen will get back to the front, but Charles Leclerc, my teammate, cooking on a 135. All we can manage was a 38.9. Field spread, I think it's going to be quite extreme early on, and this explains it. Alex Alban trying to defend for his life there in the final points paying position. So he's going to be trying to look to make some defensive maneuvers. But Sonoda, Stroll, Ocon all just in front of me. I think we're just going to try and back out of this one, see what happens there as Bottas and Alban as well, side by side, further up in front. This is great racing early on here in Vegas. Really do hope it does put on a good show. Uh, this weekend, but yeah, as we make our way through in the end of this middle sector, oh, we had a look down the inside of Yuki Sonoda. We were just about to get the car slowed down there. I was worried that we were going to understeer into him, but now we might have a big opportunity 
to make up some places as we head back out onto the strip once again. Artery Bottas leading this whole gaggle of cars there, but we've got five cars from five different teams all in a line. And I want to try and end up as the front one here as we head out onto the straight round the outside of Esteban Ocon. We'll go first of all, but gaining in on everyone else there. You can see Stroll having a look to the inside of Bottas. So we're going to make it three wide as we make our way down this straight there. Alex Albon just trying to come over to cover me off, but Stroll tries to get the elbows out. We will tell him absolutely not. And a triple overtake made then down the back straight there. That one was rather scary. And it seems like every video I do in cockpit camp at the moment, at one point or another, we will make a triple overtake there. But, yeah, almost back into the top ten then. Oh, yellow's out. Someone's got issues. I believe it might be a car behind me. It might be the Haas of Nico Hulkenberg. Let's see who it is then as we make our way through. Might be Bottas even, who is a little bit closer behind me. Oh, no, it's an Alpine. Esteban Ocon out of the Grand Prix on just lap four there. So Alpine clearly can't handle the straights. Can we handle the straight though and try and get a run past Alex Albon? That was nicely done. Down into the strip once again. Piastri at the back of that huge train of cars further up in front then. But open up that DRS and surely Albon is going to be a sitting duck here once again down the straight to the outside. We'll go right up against the wall at 215 miles an hour. Three seconds behind the cars in front, but if they continue to battle, that gap might continue to come down. But boy, the sense of speed here is absolutely phenomenal. Oh, Piastri and Leclerc going side by side just in front of me as we close in on one third distance. Nice to see Charles there getting back around the outside of the Australian, but already in just half a lap, they've lost two seconds to me squabbling. Oh, Piastri then as well, interestingly, another car on a set of the medium compounded tyres. So he's doing pretty well, actually, able to stay in the DRS of my teammate. But yeah, they're both starting to trip over each other a lot at the moment, losing touch with those cars in front. But Oscar and I both should be very, very quick in the second half of the race. And now we're finally going to have some DRS off of the front runners here. Albon, though... Has done a pretty good job of just hanging on to my coattails, so he could still be a threat in the second half of this GP. But yeah, it's quite staggering to see Mercedes fighting with Red Bull here. Would be nice if we saw someone other than Verstappen win this weekend. Um, but I'm certainly not going to put my money on it. I think Fernando Alonso and Pierre Gasly are just starting to Constantine everybody up once again. Looks like we could have another moment where we've got four or five cars squabbling for position out onto the strip here. I must admit, I feel like the F1 game is perfectly suited for this kind of venue. Uh, just with how ridiculous the slipstream is and how much the AI can go side by side and constantine each other up. As we make our way back through the S's once again, we've got to try and make sure that we get a nice clean run. Oh, out onto the back straight there. Oscar Piastri a little bit earlier on the brakes than I was expecting. But it is allowed going to be right under his gearbox as we head back out onto the strip. Make sure we've still got a little bit of DRS needed. Oh, sorry, ERS needed if we need it down the back straight. But around the outside of Oscar will go. Gasly is just a sitting duck at the moment as he's already lost two places. He might be able to make it three. There is all Leclerc just trying to get around the outside of Fernando Alonso. Oscar Piastri, I think, tried to have a bit of a look there on myself. I've pressed the wrong button. That's going to cost me just a little bit, but we'll still get the run on Charles Leclerc. They're so aggressive with the oversteer. I accidentally managed to mash my home button, but maybe we can try and get down the inside of Pierre as well. I probably wasn't going to send it, but when he went so aggressive on the defence, I've kind of got to. And now we're up to 7th then. Probably going to box the end of lap 10. So let's see if we can get back to Alonso before then. Come Charles Leclerc, down the straight he goes. Is he going to have a look to the inside of me? Yes, he is. We'll be slightly later on the brakes then, but Ferrari side by side through the final couple of corners. That penultimate turn there is really, really difficult to try and get right. But we got our top two then into the pit lane. Sergio Perez and I believe Lewis Hamilton. Both were on a set of the soft compound tires. Charlie Boy. Oh! Why have you got a safety car? What's happened? Nico Hulkenberg out of the race. 
What has happened to Hulk? Well, riding on board then with Nico Hulkenberg as we make our way out onto the strip. He's just behind his teammate Kevin Magnussen and I believe the Aston Martin of Lance Stroll. No, I think that might be the Alpha Tauri, sorry, of Yuki Tsunoda here. But he's going to try and have a look then to the outside of Yuki into the braking zone. He's already watched his teammate go through. And is he just going to run a bit deep? Yes, he is. That drops it. Oh, and I think, yeah, he's just, he's reversed into Daniel Ricciardo there. So a stricken has in the middle of the road. That is going to be a safety car. And I really don't know whether this helps the soft compound runners that are boxing okay, or us medium compound runners. Options, yeah, we're going to be boxing now. No question about it. But yeah, will that mean that we've jumped a couple of cars or will we have lost the place that we gained on Charlie? Well, looking at it then on paper, I think we're not really going to gain or lose much at all here as we head into the pit lane then. Luckily, we won't have to do it in anger here in Vegas. Just to like keep it clean and tidy. Then very, very tight pit lane entry here, but we will get optimal turning. Hopefully, we won't get caught up behind any other cars. 2.4 second stop is not bad going. There is Oscar Piastri in. There's Fernando Alonso. That's the big one. So I think Charles Leclerc might just have got the jump on me here. As we head back out okay, onto so the circuit. Yes, the he exit. has. Um, but we're still back out in P8. And, of course, we're going to be on softer, fresher tyres than most to the end. Sergio Perez then leading the way, ready for this restart. Seven laps to go here from Vegas. And we are on softer tyres than pretty much everyone around us. So we need to try and make an impact off of this restart. Hopefully we can try and time the restart well. Looks like we've done a pretty good job there as well. First car is going to be our teammate Charles Leclerc and Fernando Alonso, one of our big championship rivals. That was never actually the intention down at Turn 1, but we'll take it. It's a clean double overtake then and we are back up and into P6 of the Grand Prix. Energy usage in the second half here is going to be absolutely critical. But Lando Norris, of course, one of the other cars that we're in this championship fight with. So we need to try and get a move done on him as soon as possible. But Sergio Perez then trying to streak away and build up a lead once more. Can he win his first race since all the way back in Saudi Arabia? Oh, we're really trying to make sure that I'm not overworking the tyres before the DRS is re-enabled. But it looks like Alex Albon as well had a good restart and is now battling with my teammate Charles Leclerc for P7. Hamilton and Perez now potentially looking side by side on the run down in towards the final few corners. But yeah, you can see they're two, three wide up in front. It's exactly what we want at the moment. All of these AI taking life out of their tyres and just allowing me to close in for free as Lando Norris now gets to run on George Russell out of the final corner. Oh, there's been a pilot behind though. What has happened there? I think Oscar Piastri is gone. How is this not a red flag? Surely this has got to be a red flag here. But it's not. How on earth is that not a red flag? Let's go take a look at that incident. Well, Oscar Piastri then heading out onto the back straight. And I want to know how this one wasn't at very least a safety car. Or probably far more likely a red flag here. Gets a big run on the Aston Martin of Alonso and Pierre Gasly there. We'll get two for the price of one. Thank you very much. And up through and into P9, I believe, once again, of the Grand Prix. Gasly tries to have a look back around the outside into the braking zone there. And you can see just tips it over the curbing. This time around, the AI do a good job at stopping in time. But a red, well, yeah, roadblock at the moment. And somehow Oscar is just going to keep trying to reverse there. Reverses in to the path of both Gasly and then the second Aston Martin of Lance Stroll. I've never seen the AI get tripped up so much and still nothing be done about it. Well, this has suddenly meant we're under a lot less pressure at the front of the field there as Verstappen now gets around the outside of his teammate. But even if we needed to pit again now, we'd probably be not that far behind a lot of the other runners here. But yeah, now we've got to start being a bit more methodical. Just four and a half laps to go of this Grand Prix. Oh, nudge the wall there. Lock the rears up as well. That was a little bit ragged. Somehow, I don't think we picked up any damage. Uh, yeah, I think we just grazed the right-hand side of the front wing there. But with DRS now enabled late on, we've got to start trying to pick up some spots. There's Verstappen and Perez again side by side. I think we're going to be saying this a lot towards the end of the GP. As you can 
see their tremendous straight line speed as Hamilton now tries to get involved. So Verstappen's lost two places in it. And you can see that Hamilton now trying to get a run. Russell trying to do what Lando did to him just one lap ago. And this is all getting very, very exciting towards the end. We've got the best seat in the house at the moment. But will I be able to capitalise here? Look at that three wide as they get back down in towards turn one there. Hamilton side by side with both of the Red Bull cars. I see no way in which this ends well for all of them there. As Verstappen trying to come through. Lando Norris slow on the exit of the corner. We might now try and get a run on our former McLaren teammate. Hamilton now under pressure from George Russell down the end of the straight. As Lando Norris later on the brakes than myself and will just slam the door. It is all kicking off here late on in the day here in Las Vegas. And this is an absolutely phenomenal battle as we again just lock the rears. This is allowing Leclerc and Albon, though, to get back in this fight. As have we just dropped out of the DRS to those Red Bull cars. George Russell desperate to try and hang on with them. But, yeah, we need to try and get through. We cannot win this race from P6 with just a couple of laps to go. So closing in on Lando once again. They're trying to make sure that wall, I think, is going to be really lethal for drivers. Um, race day Sunday or even qualifying on... Well, race day Saturday, isn't it, of course, here in Vegas? And forgive me for my old habits. Uh, but will we be able to get a run then on Lando Norris? Red Bull side by side again at the front of the field. And again, just not quite brave enough to have a look down the inside of Lando. All right, come on then, Lando. Give it up. Let's try and get past him. The McLaren driver whoa, just moves around a little bit down the straight. You have to get very, very late on the brakes. And Lando Norris again there, just able to hang on in front. Can we try and have a look down the inside here? We will get to the inside of the McLaren. We're just costing each other a lot of time, though. And we do finally get round him. But I think now we've lost the DRS to Hamilton in front. Perez and Russell, though, this could be a lifeline for me as we make our way out into the back straight. Verstappen now just trying to get out in front of the field. But, yeah, we're going to just gain a little bit of time as we head back out onto the strip. I feel like Lando and Charlo are going to be closing in on me very, very quickly here. But we can't afford to let Verstappen break free at the front of the field there. Mercedes now squabbling with each other. Lando Norris trying to come back at me again and will again have a look down the inside there as we attack the curbing. But Verstappen now might just have found an opening at the front. Oh, we're just not quite within the range again of George Russell here with just over a lap to go. I think Verstappen might just have done enough, but Perez and Hamilton still going side by side. This race is not going to be over until the bitter end. But you can see Perez now, yep, dropping back behind one more. He might lose two spots here. And we've just got to be ready to try and capitalise on it wherever we can. Can we try and get a podium from the rear of the field here in the Las Vegas Grand Prix and potentially open up a couple of points that we need ahead of some of our big rivals? With just one race to go of the championship, Perez is really dropping back. Hamilton now in hot pursuit of Max Verstappen at the front of the field. Maybe wants to try and ruin the Red Bulls afternoon, but Russell and Perez surely they're going to be side by side as we make our way down the end of this straight we do get some DRS as well, that's going to be very very useful here as here goes Russell again to the outside of Sergio Perez here and we need to be in the DRS range on that back straight there as they're going to navigate their way through all clean and tidy at the moment and I'm sure the elbows are about to come out once more Charles Leclerc as well, just sat behind me, sensing an opportunity as we run a little bit wide there, getting all over the curbing. But George Russell now threw and up into P3 of the Grand Prix once again. But it's going to be Mercedes, Red Bull and Ferrari battling it out for the final podium spot. It's going to be Mercedes and Red Bull trying to battle for the win. Late on in the day here, we need to try and get a good run out onto the back straight, which we have not been able to do. A little bit of wheel spin as well on the exit. Will Hamilton be within the range of Max Verstappen? I don't believe he is. Will we be able to get a run, though, on Perez and George Russell? We're going to have to drain the battery as we make our way down the strip. Here goes Perez to the outside of Georgie Boy. Surely we're going to try and get a run around the outside of the Mercedes as well there. 
George Russell's going to try and fight it back down the end of the straight. We run a little bit deep in towards the corner there, and that means Perez is safely through and onto the podium. Max Verstappen will win here in Las Vegas, but we are going to come through for P4 from the back of the field. What a race that was. OK, pick up rubber and bring it home. And as they take the chequered flag, the fans go wild. They broke the bank in Las Vegas. The strip has been conquered. Anthony Davidson, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? Well, time management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed. It's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. So being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently and it's clear to see that they've put in the work and they should be so proud of the victory they've secured here. Let's focus on the driver of the day, Anthony Davidson. Who do you pick? Max Verstappen seemed to just effortlessly weave through the other drivers today without a care in the world. He was definitely my driver of choice. Well, what an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. Well, there we are then, the end of the Las Vegas Grand Prix. And rather unsurprisingly, it's Max Verstappen that walks away with the dub there. Lewis Hamilton, P2 ahead of Perez in the end. Carlos Sainz, Charles Leclerc, Russell Norris, Albon Alonso and Yuki Tsunoda will round out our top 10 this weekend. But yeah, I really do hope the Vegas is a good race. Let me know down in the comments below your thoughts and feelings as to what we were going to expect. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video and we'll be back very, very soon with more Formula 1 content.